Okay, so you've got the surprise card over here. You might be waiting for some kind of uh, message to come in or some kind of news to you or some kind of documentation to come in. And this has left you feeling very, very frustrated. Uh, you're very anxious. Uh, you know, it's very it's stressing you out waiting for this uh, particular news or this particular information to come in. Uh, it looks like it's going to be good news that comes in because you've got this gift, a uh, little gift, uh, but it is something that is, you know, good news that comes in. So it brings in some relief from whatever you've been going through. Uh, now, you've got uh, the patience card over here, so waiting for things to change, and you've got the love card over here. So you want to, it looks like you want to do something that you've been, or you've been doing something that you enjoy, you've been waiting for something to happen as well. So whatever you're doing, you're enjoying it, uh, but you have been, uh, you know, maybe you're working to deadlines as well with the patience card. Uh, you know, the hourglass with the time. Maybe you're feeling like, uh, you know, you're not moving uh, fast enough in your career as well. So this is about having patience or about being very patient, uh, you know, and you're doing something that you, you do enjoy, though. You've got that love card over there. Now, going into the future, uh, you've got a judgment card uh, coming. So whatever this information is, uh, it uh, means that you're going to have to make some kind of decision uh, about choosing some a new pathway in life or, or going down a different road. So that you are at a fork in a road as far as your uh, career goes. Uh, and some news that you're waiting for uh, will allow you to make that decision. You're pretty anxious and stressed about it. It is good news, but it's going to spur you on into making a decision. And then you've got the troubleshooter. So you need to consider all the options first before deciding what to do. You might need to get some advice from somebody, some kind of professional advice uh, from somebody with this troubleshooter card. So, uh, and, you know, this person's got one a patch on one eye. So, you know, you need to see all the information first. There's something that you, is, has not come to light yet. So there's some information that needs to be revealed in order for you to make uh, that particular decision. There's some kind of option that you're not considering um, or some kind of information that you haven't seen yet um, that is going to be necessary in order for you to make that particular decision. And like I say, you might need to get some professional advice or assistance um, on actually making that decision. So that's coming up in those two weeks. Okay, so I'm going to use the Sorceress Tarot for the main read. I have shuffled this deck. So let's see what's going on. Okay, so um, there's a difficult situation that you're going through. There's a lot of competition. There's a power struggle going on over there. You might be dealing with somebody that is giving you a lot of grief, uh, you know, somebody that opposes everything that you say and is making your life pretty difficult where you're working at. Um, you're equally matched for some reason, uh, and it seems like, you know, it's almost a stalemate kind of battle that is going on. So maybe they say things to you, and you say things back to them, and it's a back and forth thing, and nobody seems to be winning in this particular situation. Uh, but there's a lot of aggression that is going on over there, so quite a big power struggle going on, and that's the energies that you're working with at the moment. So what's happening with you? You are very focused on your work. You're learning a lot, learning a lot but also applying a lot of those skills. You are working to a lot of deadlines. You might be doing a lot of studying, uh, you know, following the rules over there, uh, you know, working pretty hard uh, at whatever you're doing. So, you know, you're also directing things. You can see this man's got that rod in his hands. So, you know, stirring up things. You've got your hand in it. You're a very hands-on person in whatever work you're doing. So you're working very hard and you're very, very focused. Uh, you've got that six of cups over here. Um, so it looks like, you know, this is almost generational kind of thing from baby to the, uh, to the little boy, to the magician over here. So, uh, you know, you could be, um, you know, working with people, uh, that you've worked with in a, for a long time, uh, you know, and you could be even working with children as well in whatever job you're doing. Um, this is also, uh, you know, learning a lot as well on that job. You, got, you can see that magician's got, you know, it's almost like he's teaching this little boy. So maybe you're in a role of mentor as well uh, in whatever role you're taking. But you're, you know, very, very focused on that particular job at this particular moment. 
So what's happened in the last year? You've got the chariot over here. So you may have uh, started this new job. So there might have been a home move for you. Uh, you may have, you know, you're, you're very, very focused on your career. You're very, very ambitious. Uh, you may have actually even emigrated, uh, moved on, you know, you've started this new job uh, with this chariot card. So this is starting this new job in this new country or in this new place, and you've had to have a, a move for that. And, you know, maybe you're also, whatever this new job is, you're very much in charge. You've taken control or you're in a leadership kind of position over there. And, uh, you know, you can see that maybe a leadership position over here. You've got this king of pentacles sitting back. So you're earning pretty well in this particular job, uh, you know, in a position of authority, uh, you know, and the money is coming in as well with this particular job. Now, what's on your mind? You've got that queen of swords over here. So maybe you are, you know, uh, you're somebody that is coming across as being very strict, somebody who is very much in charge, uh, very determined, uh, also very lonely, uh, you know, uh, it might be, you know, uh, being at the top is a lonely place to be. So you are in a position of authority. Um, you also could be, you know, dealing with some kind of legal situation as well over here. Um, maybe you're even coming across as somebody who is maybe ruthless in a sense, because you can see this little man is skewered on the sword over here. So maybe you're a person who, um, you know, doesn't take any nonsense from anybody else. Uh, you know, you're, you're willing to cut heads or, or skewer people, uh, you know, if they don't listen to what you've got to say. So maybe this is the way you're coming across as well. So even in this particular card with this, uh, uh, this magician, it's almost like, you know, he's a headmaster walking around, uh, you know, um, directing how this little boy should be acting. So maybe a lot of people are scared of you because you, you have a lot of authority. Uh, you know, you're yourself a very, very hardworking. You might be involved in teaching of some sort, um, uh, but you're coming across as a very authoritative figure uh, and maybe people are a bit scared of you for that reason. Now going into the future, uh, you've got this um, page of pentacles over here. So you might be considering taking on a new job or even taking on um, you know a second job because he's got two pentacles in his hands over here, and he's sitting here and considering uh, what to do. So you, you're looking for a way of making more money, uh, and you're considering taking on a new job. So maybe leaving this old job behind and moving on. Uh, you've got the hermit card over here as well. So you might be involved in, in teaching or education. You know, Most of these cards are coming across as being somebody who is a teacher, somebody who is involved in uh, you know mentoring uh, people and with a, a hermit card, uh, you know it's about Virgo, and Virgo is uh, you know the sign of being that teacher, being feeling very lonely as well uh, in whatever job you're doing. So you know uh, it seems like you're getting on, you put your head down, you do your work, uh, you know you're focused on your work, uh, and there doesn't seem to be very very many people around you as well. They're a little scared of you as well. You've got that uh, Queen of Swords over here, and you can see she's also alone. Uh, there and maybe uh, you know uh, you're coming across as somebody who maybe enjoys their own company but then Sagittarius never usually is the person who likes to be alone but this is how you're coming across as someone who's very very work focused and you know um, not really um, you know uh, having that much ma that much support from people around you so um, what's happening, um, you've got the Ace of Pentic um, Ace of Cups coming in over there. So there's a new opportunity coming your way over here. And this is probably what you're considering as well. It might be an opportunity for learning because it's the Ace of Cups, uh, but it's also going to be that second job. And you, it looks like you're making uh, trying to make a decision about whether or not to take this new uh, job. It looks like it might be a promotion of some sort. Uh, and you're sitting, you, you want to end this particular uh, job. You've got the Ten of um, cups over here. Now it looks like you're very unhappy wherever you are. You're feeling very, very lonely, very, very unsupported. Uh, you know, and you're um, with this ten of uh, cup, uh, cups. It looks like you want to end this feeling of being lonely and un unhappy. You seem very, very isolated and very unhappy in this particular job. Very dissatisfied for some reason. So there you are, looking at this new job, and it's going to bring in a lot more money because it's the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, so you are looking at the salary of, you know, that you're going to earn. And it looks like, you know, it's going to be a better salary to step up from what you're doing at the, the, this particular moment. So it's actually moving in up from that page of pentacles into the queen of pentacles. So there is definitely a promotion coming up over there. And it's the end of a cycle. So it looks like you're going to end this job and move forward with this ten of pentacles. So you want to leave this job 
and uh, manifest this new job. You are manifesting this. You can see this uh, magician is manifesting. Uh, so it looks like this particular job is going to end. Uh, you're going to get some kind of payoff from leaving this particular job. And uh, here you are weighing your options as well. Um, so this is also legal contracts being signed uh, and weighing up your options as well. So it looks like you're going to be leaving this particular job, going for a new job. You've manifested a new job and you're moving on. And it's going to be, you know, a better paid job that you're going for as well. So and it's going to be a lot of documentation that you're going to be signed, make, signing. Make sure that you are, uh, you know, reading all the fine prints. So you are weighing up the options. Uh, there might be two offers that are in on the table and you're trying to decide which one is going to be the better paid one. So you are definitely thinking about this quite carefully, uh, looking at it, you know, spending a lot of time, uh, you know, focusing on it and trying to make that decision. Um, and, um, you know, but you are going to leave this old job that you're doing. And here you are again, making, trying to make a decision. So uh, you are in the process, uh, you know, where you're not feeling very happy. It looks like it's some kind of mentoring or teaching related job. There's a lot of, you know, negative energy going on around you that you're not very, very happy. There's a lot of uh, power struggle, a lot of discontent. Maybe there's a lot of arguments going on with the people that you're working with. It's left you feeling very lonely, very isolated. So it looks like you're going to be leaving this and moving on. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, fairy tarot. So there you've got the seven of winter over here. There is a better choice, not seeing things clearly and running away from the truth. Um, so, you know, with a set of a seven of winter, it's about dealing with people around you that are not really uh, supportive. There could be a lot of lies, deception, deceit, feeling uh, disappointed, uh, feeling as though, you know, uh, you're not achieving whatever you want. So it says there's a better choice. You need to have a look at things very, very clearly. You know, you are doing that there with that um, justice card here. This is the number eight, the justice card. So, you know, you are weighing your options. You are looking at it very, very carefully. Uh, but there is some kind of decision that you have to make. There's an awakening card over here. Change the way you are looking at the situation. Embrace your uniqueness, a temporary pause. So you need to stop and consider things very carefully and see things from a very different angle. Uh, you know, this is also maybe needing to give up something, make some kind of sacrifice in order for you to move forward. And then you've got, um, so things are a bit of a standstill at the moment. But you've got the Queen of Summer over here. And listen to your heart, intuitive insights that you can trust. Take care of others, perhaps, uh, taking care of others perhaps too much. So your decision that you have to go, you're going to have to make is going to have to be, be based on what you want, not what is good for everybody else. So there's that choice that you have to make over here. It looks like you're just, you're, you're a bit reluctant to make this decision or maybe you're reluctant to even move on. So you are considering all the options. But it looks like change is going to be coming in for you. And this new promotion that is coming in or this new job that is coming in is offering you more money. So you have to do something that makes you happy. It looks like that's where you're going to, you're going to go because she is drinking from that cup. So you are going to choose the job that makes you happier uh, as opposed to what everybody else wants. So it looks like you're moving on uh, because there's a lot of discontent where you are at and you are going to take on something that makes you happier than where you've been because you're very, very unhappy where you are at. Okay, so uh, I hope this reading has resonated with you and uh, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.